have just joined us. Uh, you are on Hope FM, the station where you listen and live. My name is Kerry Kagiri. Today's uh, devotion is titled An Instrument of Your Peace. An Instrument of Your Peace. And I really, you know, it's not easy to be, to do what I'm doing in this season. But I just wanted to remind all the believers that as a believer and anyone who has Christ, you have in you a powerful gift. The Prince of Peace reigns in your life. Now we can only share a peace that we've first been given. It's like trying to share something that you don't have. And so how about we come together for a moment and get quietened within our spirit and then continue to receive, enjoy peace within ourselves. And then it is only then that we can have this peace flowing out of us to bless the world. Now, it's not only Kenya that's hurting. By the way, if you, and that that is also in chaos, there's so many nations right now that we should be praying for as we continue to pray for nations. But right now, let's focus on Kenya. Now, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, and our Lord God have given you peace. Shalom. That's what we call it. Shalom. And where is this shalom? This shalom is within us. And it's also just a a, a whisper away. Why do I say that the Holy Spirit has also given us peace? Because the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. It's there. It's patience, kindness, goodness. It's faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It's within us. I'm sorry, I have to sing it to remember it. I just, I don't, I don't remember it without singing it. So, how can we do this? And what is this thing we should whisper? Well, it's Philippians 4, 6 to 7. And I must credit my father because he got me to actually cram. Because he told me this is my favorite verse. And so I thought, you know what? I need to have dad's favorite verse in my mind. And all the time I'm anxious, I tell myself, Carry, carry, do not be anxious about anything. I'm reading Philippians 4, 6 to 7. You know this scripture. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving. And so we start there. Let's take a pause for one minute and let's make this very engaging. Give thanks for something God has done just right now because we have to do it with thanksgiving. Now I am live on Facebook. If you're watching me live, please type, 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 type. Make your requests known to God. What is that request you have right now? What is that request you have right now? You see, verse 7 is where we're going to because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for peace so that we can share it. And we're about to get it because, and the peace of God, verse 7, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus I'm looking to be guarded. I'm looking to receive this peace that I can share with someone, that I can share with everyone around me, especially those that I know. Because some of us, I went ahead to be very vocal about who we're supporting or what we're doing. And so the people who need shalom right now because they're in distress. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's celebrate God. Let's celebrate God and declare that shalom, that we are able to be instruments of peace because first we have received and we've experienced the peace. And if you haven't experienced the peace, I'm going to make a prayer right now. And if you can believe, then God can mold you to be that instrument that will be peaceful in the neighborhood. I've got a couple of uh, inboxes asking me, Kerry, what's the son of the church? Kerry, where are we standing? And I'd say, I'm standing as an instrument of peace. I'm standing to be a place where people know they can come to and not get a lot of chaos about politics and, you know, like noise. Not just good, you know, good, decent politics. As Christians, we said 100% from the beginning of the year that we will be involved. We'll be involved actively in the politics. But it's not in politicking and being dirty. It's being rational it's being reasonable it's being 
a voice and a place of peace for people probably who have invested so much in terms of their time, resources, energy in this time. So first, I want to pray right now that you experience the peace of God. Shalom, breathe over everybody who is watching and listening. Breathe peace. The peace of God. And from then on, after you experience it fully and you're saturated, then go ahead and share the very same with everyone around you. I pray you'll have moments of laughter, moments of joy, moments cathartic breaks within this season. And God is able to mold you and to help you. I'm going to be playing Reverend Ambrose Nyangao. But right before that, I want to ask you who is listening to me, if you have not made a decision for the Prince of Peace who can come and reign in your life and help you right now, that you may be able to stop seeing blurry because of the pain, the anxiety that you have, and you can see a crisp, crisp Kenya. Just pray with me. Believe in your heart and say, Lord Jesus. I need the Prince of Peace to reign in my heart. I need forgiveness for all my sin. And I believe that Jesus is the Lamb of God. He is the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, and He will reign in my life starting now and forever in jesus name amen and amen it's a simple prayer if you have made it why don't you let me know so that we can connect you to a counselor so we can plug in with you so that we can celebrate god's goodness in your life you can text in on 20933 you can whatsapp on 0717400555 i'm looking forward to hearing from you and join us as we worship with the reverend ambrose nyangao as we do that, share this video. This video went live on Facebook. 